Although I wanted to experience Kyoto's famous spots and delicacies, I had no idea where to go. Hello, I'm Shizuku, your Kyoto tour guide. Many visitors often complain that they can't truly experience the essence of Kyoto because it's crowded with tourists. Today, I'll introduce you to the serene spots right in the heart of the city, a cafe inside a temple, and delicious food in the surrounding areas. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Shinran Shonin, who experienced exile in Ichigo, currently Niigata, returned to Kyoto in the following year, in 1212, and established a small hermitage in the Yamashina area in the eastern part of Kyoto. This hermitage is said to be the origin of Bokoji Temple. In 1320, the temple was relocated to its current location in the southeast of Kyoto, near the present-day Kyoto National Museum. It received the temple name Amida Bokoji from Emperor Godaigo and came to be known as Bokoji. The main hall, Daishido, stands in front of the gate and houses the remains of Shinran Shonin, the founder of Bokoji Temple. To the left is the Amidadu Hall, where the main statue of Amida Nyorai and images of Prince Shotoku, revered by Shinran Shonin, are enshrined. The eastern building, which was once a tea place for Bokoji Temple, now houses a popular dining hall called Dishikudo, which introduces Kyoto's food culture. Having a dining hall within a temple's grounds is quite unique to Kyoto. During lunchtime, you may have to wait in line, but you can wait comfortably under the eaves of the building, so the wait time isn't too bothersome. Now, let's enter the restaurant. Since the interior is tatami floor Japanese style, you'll need to take off your shoes before entering. The chairs in the dining area are designed so you don't have to sit in the formal Japanese style, say that, making it suitable for elderly people with leg discomfort or foreign tourists who aren't accustomed to sitting in seide. The atmosphere is very soothing, with Buddhist statues inside, and you can enjoy a relaxed view of the temple grounds through the glass windows. Let's take a look at the menu. What should I order? I decided to go for Kyoto Craft Beer and the Yuba Ancake Don, tofu skin in starchy sauce over rice. Cheers in broad daylight. It took a while for the food to arrive because the restaurant was quite busy, but finally, I could enjoy the Yuba Ancake Don. Thinly shredded Yuba is served on top of rice with a starchy sauce. The silky texture of the yuba combines wonderfully with the rice, creating an indescribable deliciousness. The red part is a pickle called shibazuke, which adds a unique flavor accent. When you spread the shibazuke on top and eat it, the deliciousness of the pickling liquid and the crispy texture blend together, making it very enjoyable. The portion is quite generous, and I left completely satisfied. At its peak, Bokoji Temple was more influential than Hongunji Temple at the time. However, it gradually declined due to pressure from other temples, and after the Anan War in the 1400s, it began to wane, allowing Hongunji Temple to rise in prominence. In 1586, at the request of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the temple was moved to its current location. On the south side, there is a shop that used to be an accommodation facility for guest lecturers. Here, you can find Kyoto crafts, lifestyle items, condiments, and other items related to Kyoto. How about leisurely choosing some Kyoto souvenirs here?
Next, let me introduce you to a hidden gem for suites within walking distance from Bokoji Temple, the main store of Dagokaden Hanpo. It's right next to Kyoto's long-established department store, Daimaru. This time, I ordered matcha and milk sweet shaved ice called matcha kentoki and lemon shaved ice called lemon miso re. The glass bowls were lined with four pieces of shiratame, sweet rice flour dumplings, and the sweet red bean paste was at the bottom. The ice was finely textured and melted gently in the mouth. The lemon miso re had agar jelly on top. It had a gentle sourness, was refreshingly delicious, and paired perfectly with the ice. I highly recommend it if you ever crave something sweet. Here at the Netsuretsu Kanko Yoichi, passionate tourist night market, which is also close to Bakoji Temple, you can experience the atmosphere of Asian street food stalls and savor approximately 70 types of dishes from Taiwan, Korea, China, Thailand, and more. This time, I ordered cheese tebaki, cheese-filled kimbap, maple tofu, and shaolong bao. Each dish costs almost less than 500 yen, making it a great value for money, and they are all quite delicious. Now, let's talk about how to get to Bakoji Temple. If you're coming from Kyoto Station, take the subway Karasumo line bound for Kakusei Kaiken and board the rear car when looking from the direction of travel. Get off at Shijo Station and exit from the south ticket gate. Go straight out of exit 5. Immediately turn left, and at the intersection where you'll see a family mart, continue straight ahead. On your left, you'll see an elementary school, and on your right, a white wall. This is Bakoji Temple. Walk along the wall, and when you turn right at the police box, you'll see the temple gate. It's just a five-minute walk from the station. Thank you for watching till the end. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Drop your comments below about places you'd like to see or enjoyed. I, Shizuku, will keep assisting your Kyoto trip. Stay tuned for the next video.